My name is Bharti Kher. Um, I'm in New York to present my exhibition, um, The Unexpected Freedom of Chaos. The works are about possibility, they're about alchemy, they're about magic, they're about the singular and the dual and this relationship of yin and yang going backwards and forwards. The, this exhibition starts with the premises of break and repair. It's something that I've been doing in my studio for many years. I break things to know them. And what I'm interested in is opening up material to discover and reveal something that's not apparent when something is whole. A lot of the works in the exhibition are deeply psychological. They go back and forwards to the idea of the body and the mind and perhaps the soul. There's an inherent vulnerability in all of us that we somehow cover and repair constantly. But within, and you can see it in the mirror works, there's these very fine lines of cracks which are the places where the light goes inside or, or there's a crack that you can see something very subtle or very beautiful within each of us. The nature of these new mirror pieces that are somehow now quite untamed, they're not framed and um, they have become almost sculptures in themselves. You can see here there's classic framed piece, the work called Crimea River, um, where the mirror somehow is held within the frame. The other four pieces, they're more like bodies. They lean against the wall like a person would lean. But there's, a na there's an element of um, nature. I'm talking about different stratas, the earth, the sky and the stratosphere. So they have a, a kind of almost a landscape quality to them. I'm not necessarily preparing for each work. Um, and then when I make them, I start to collect them and create compositions. I look at them as sculpture, to be perfectly honest. And um, the, the idea is that they raised off the floor is to play with this, with this something that I do quite often. Is I want to make things that are very heavy look very light and it's, it's a simple artistic trick, uh, a translation, a transformation and I think that's for me the essence of art, art making is to push material to do what it doesn't want to do and to create that magic, um, to float things that are dense, to combine cement and soften it with wax. Um, to play with material to confuse your optic um, so that you make cement look like butter and wax look like stone and stone look light and the bindis become quite heavy within the surface of the work. The bindis are a material that I've been using for close to 20 years now and um, I use them as markers and uh, they're signs. So what the bindi originally is, is a ready-made. It's a mark that Indian women wear here. It's a, it's a kind of daily ritualistic practice where it's a symbol for your consciousness. Um, it's a marker for your third eye. And how I use them is both conceptually and as a sign now. So they become um, text, they become like code, they become like a skin, a covering. This idea that when I stick an eye, I'm asking the questions of what do you see and how do you see it? And what I'm interested also is the work activate, is it activator? The Bindi works allow me in one part of my studio to function completely in the realm of abstraction. Whereas upstairs in my studio, my work is highly figurative. I like that tension in my work, the abstraction and the deeply narrative. And somehow they, they come together through me, this, this body, and um, 
I'm not necessarily saying there's only two facets, but so far I've only found two ways to um, describe my existence, my place in the world. The Intermediaries are um, a series of works I started about three years ago, and they are clay figures, um, fired clay figures, bought from South India. And originally they are used in um, festivals, like a harvest festival. They are the avatars of the gods, the humans. So they represent everything between heaven or, you know, the, the great and what's on earth. These works started to break down. I started to open them up. Again, like I said, I break things to know what's inside. I also like the idea that they're built in two halves and often the halves would just open up. And when they were opening up, I could see what was inside um, this woman or this man or this object or this animal or this fruit. They are like my early hybrid works that I made in 2003 and 4. Um, they refer back to uh, a lot of the earlier sculptures that I was used to make of the joining of two ideas, the joining of two possibilities, this idea that the self is multiple. And so I see the works as, again, quite, they're deeply psychological and they really are about this, the possibility of the self.